It's time for Orchard Skills, Internationalization, abbreviated I-18N, and Localization, abbreviated L-10N, is a process of adapting your website to a language and culture of a locale. It is an important endeavor for any business seeking international growth. Today on Orchard Skills, we will be looking at localization and internationalization of a blog website in Orchard Core. Please stay with us as we get started. Welcome back. So what is internationalization and localization? It's important to understand these terms. Internationalization, abbreviated I-18N, is the design and development of a product application or document contact that enables easy localization for target audiences that vary in culture, region, or language. Localization, abbreviated L10N, refers to the adoption of a product, application, or document content to meet the language, culture, and other requirements of a specific target market or a locale. To get started, let's clone the basic Orchard Core CMS web application from the Orchard Skills GitHub repository. Launch your favorite browser and head over to github.com slash Orchard Skills slash Orchard Skills dot Orchard Core dot CMS. Go ahead and click on the green code button and open with GitHub Desktop. And then select Open GitHub Desktop dot exe. And let's go ahead and hit the clone button. Okay, great. Let's launch Visual Studio. Okay, let's make sure we update the NuGet packages. So let's go to the solution here, select on that, right click, and let's select Manage NuGet Packages for Solution. Okay, make sure that we have Include Preview selected, and also for the package source, select the Orchard Core Preview. Let's select the Update tab, select All Packages, and click on Update. Go ahead and click OK and then also click I accept. Okay, great. It looks like we have our packages updated to the latest version. Currently it's 1.00.rc2-15358. Let's run the application. Go up here and hit the green play triangle. Let's go ahead and select our site name. It will be Orchard Skills. Select the blog recipe. Let's use SQLite, and then also let's enter our credentials and hit the Finish Setup button. Okay, great. So the first thing we want to do is let's log into the dashboard. So we'll do a slash admin, enter in our credentials, and click on Login. Okay, great. To Configuration, and let's go to Features, and let's search for Localization. And here you'll see that here are all the different features for localization. Click on Localization, Content Localization, and also Content Culture Picker and we'll do a bulk operation for enable. All these features were enabled. So now if we go to settings, you'll notice here we have cultures. Add a culture, and let's go ahead and select the French culture, and say we'll hit the add culture button, and you'll notice that we have English, US, and French, French. Hit save. Okay, great. Now let's head over to the content culture picker, and let's go ahead and enable the home page redirect and hit save. Okay, let's now go to content, content definition, content types, and let's modify the article type here. And down here, we're going to add a part and we're going to add the localization part and hit save. And then we'll just move this up here and hit save. Okay, let's select new article and we'll call this article EN US. Let's do EN dash US slash article. And we'll just down here we'll just say English. And let's go ahead and publish that. And then you notice that we have a label here for EN US. Click on localization and let's add French. 
So here we'll do FR, FR. We'll call this FR, FR for link. And we'll say French article, French. And go ahead and publish that. Okay, let's go ahead and do preview. And then we have French article. And then if we go back and go to content, content items, we go here and we do a preview. And then we have our English. Now let's go to the design section and go to widgets, add a layer. And for this, we'll call it English. And for the rule, we'll do culture and we'll put Ian there. Create that, add another layer, French, and put FR and create that. Okay. So now we have a layer for English and French for our footer, but for the footer, we're going to have to add the localization part to the raw HTML. So let's go to content, content definition, content types, edit our raw HTML, and let's add a part and let's add the localization part, hit save, and let's put that above the raw HTML, hit save. Okay, great. So now let's go back to our design and our widgets, edit this guy. And for here, instead of always, we'll do English, and then we'll go ahead and do a publish. And you notice now we have an English. Select on French, and down here we can add F-R-E-N French. And for the layer, we'll do French, and we'll do publish that. So next we want to override the current template that's in the blog. So let's select templates, and we'll add a template. And here we'll call it content underscore underscore article. And for the content, we'll just go ahead and steal the one from the blog theme, which is a liquid page. We'll paste that. But at the bottom, we'll add a shape content culture picker. Okay, let's hit save. Let's, let's go to our slash en dash us dash article. And then here you can notice that we have a content picker. So we have English article, and down here we have our footer now that so says English. So let's select French, and you'll notice that now we have the French article, and we have our French widget for the footer. And now you can see that Google has noticed that the page is in French, and it's asking you to translate. So now let's go back and select English again, and now we're back to English. So you, and then back to French, and then back to English. Isn't that nifty? Now to recap, we cloned the Orchard Skills Basic Orchard Core CMS web application from the Orchard Skills GitHub repository. We compiled and ran the application. We selected the blog theme. We added the localization features. We added the French culture. We added the localization part to both the article and raw HTML content types. We created new article pages for both English and French. We modified the footer widget by adding an English and French layer. We created a content article template in Liquid and added the content culture picker. Then we displayed the article page. By selecting the culture in the content picker, we were able to switch from English to French and vice versa. Now, if you missed or didn't understand something, that's okay. There's a detailed blog post that describes all the steps. There is also a GitHub repository with the complete source code. All this information is in the video description. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up icon. Also, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get a notification when I release the next video. Thank you for watching.